sir. First question. First question. I'm Rufi Valiente of Kitchen City Board. Attorney. Okay. We are doing our best to professionalize the industry. That means practitioners should be in a license, a real set broker, real set agent, real set broker, or realtor. Now, there are companies in Metro Manila that employ the services of agents without any license to dispose their property. What can we do about them? In addition to that, the commission that they are giving is both licensed and unlicensed are the same. And that is only 3% of the selling price irrespective of the amount. Ano magagawa po ng ating pare for the real estate industry regarding this? Afternoon, Rocky. Uh, as far as 2005, we created the Antipolorum Task Force. However, it did not take off that time. It was only last year when uh, we became active. However, when we created the 2005, yeah, the task force in 2005, there was one board in Mindanao who became active. It was Northern Mindanao Realtors Board. Okay. So what did they do in, the, in their area? Uh, first, they did education campaign. And later on, they started uh, bringing up cases to DTI, which resulted in uh, unlicensed, even salesmen, going to DTI to have themselves licensed. While we know that this is the work of DTI, um, DTI admitted that they really have they lack the power to implement the Ministry Order 39. That's why in our own effort, if we want to... Thank you. If we want to professionalize our industry, we have to help the government. So last year, we conducted seminar workshops uh, of the Anti-Color Task Force. I know for one, in Lucena City, I know we have... Uh, Realtors here from Lucena City, the task force was uh, really active. And with the help of the DTI, in cooperation with the DTI, they talked to developers. So last year alone, from a uh, licensed salesman of about six, I think at the end of December, they had licensed salesmen of about more than 100. Um, Juby, am I correct? So up there, Cynthia is there. So actually, if we want to um, eliminate at, or at least minimize the proliferation of unlicensed practitioners, we also have to do our part. Now, on the part of DTI, DTI had already talked to big developers uh, to have the uh, in-house license. But, you know, we cannot for these developers and HMURB, I think, did the same. Um, I know Ayala Land for one, they really have their in-house people license. So if you want, I mean, in our own capacity, we can help professionalize our industry. Like a matter of when you go to the mall and you see people, you meet people giving you flyers. You talk to them if they're licensed. Otherwise, if they're not licensed, you tell them about the penalties of practicing without a license and inform them where they can have a license. Ask them where they live and refer them to the board where they can get the, well, the board that can help them get their license.